Hey, hello, thank you for clicking this video. You're gonna be watching a recorded coaching session of a post-game analysis. That means that we did a live game with a student in Discord, in this case, Kaling Pascal Tryhard, and then we re review the replay with some concepts briefly. You're gonna be finding concepts related to positioning as ADC, how to improve in the game, mindset, how to approach team fighting, uh, and many, many other ADC concepts. So I hope you enjoy it, thank you. People in goal, let's say they make this amount of mistakes. Like every, every goal player makes this amount of mistakes. And they recognize their mistakes and someone else's mistakes like this. This is the part they recognize. So it's like a 25% 30. Um, the amount of mistakes a diamond, let's say, let's say a master player makes is something like this. And the amount they recognize is something like this. You get what I'm going? Yeah. So the game is about making less mistakes and recognizing more. The higher you go, the less mistakes they do and the more they see. That's, that's how it works. How do you get better? Just by making less mistakes yourself and by recognizing more. It's as simple as that. Like, it doesn't, it's not really complex. The game is not complex. So, how do you win games? How do you play better? You just have to see more of your mistakes and someone else's mistakes and make less. This doesn't mean that you should play safe and be super boring. Like, don't do anything. No, no, no. I'm saying, like... Go for the things that you know that work. We never coin flip. That's, that's, that's our, my main phrase. Never coin flip. The game is not a coin flip itself. One game can be lost because of someone else's, but it's going to be like 20% of the games. The, the other 80, you can win. Um, and I can tell it myself. I know it's a fact that you can win at least 75% of the games in any ELO, unless you're like GM Plus, which is possible to win that amount because uh, people are actually top level. But, um, or challenger, let's say, gonna win 80% there. But in any other elo, if, if a good player will win 80%, like let's say you put that, no, I don't know, Deft playing in Platinum, he'll win like 80 percent Why? Because he's good, yeah, of course. But because he sees less mistakes and, uh, so sorry, sees more and makes less. Plus, he's good mechanically. Um, first of all, you think about yourself and then about others. That's how it is. Um, the main mistakes that you made this game were related to dying, pretty much. Like, it's related to fighting where you shouldn't, to positioning, or to, to not having, like, fight sense. And I will tell you how easy, like, a fight looks from the outside, of course, because when you're playing, you're not seeing it from the outside, you're actually playing, so it's way harder in the moment to recognize. Um, the thing I, I, that I can tell you is that you need to pay more attention to your environment, not only to yourself, when you're fighting. Because you said positioning is hard. It is. It is. But you know why it is hard? Because you're only looking at yourself. That's why I realized. Uh, you, you can tell me now if, you're, if I'm right or wrong. I'm just making like hypothesis. So my hypothesis for you is that you look too much at, your, at yourself and not to your surroundings when you're fighting. Is that, is that right? Yeah, that's completely right. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so what I realized when you're fighting is exactly that you're, you're only looking at your champion. Why? I can tell that because you put your camera on top of your champion. You don't put it in the fight. That's why I was missing so many things. And moving the camera properly takes a lot of time to practice. It's not something you can do from one day to the other. But what you can do is change your mindset. It's a reaction game, not a um, yourself game. So instead of looking at yourself, now you're going to be looking at others, not yourself. Why? Because you know your champion, you know how to kite, you don't really need to look at yourself at all. Like when I play, let me sh let me. Are you watching my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when I play, I put my I put my champion here in the camera, and I put the camera like this. Well, this is all the fight. Ideally, sometimes I center myself, but it's very rare. Why? Because I don't have to see myself. I I know my champion. I know how to kite. Um, I I I don't pay attention to this. I pay attention to this. Also, why do I pay attention to threats? How do you classify a threat for a fight? What do they have that can kill me? That should be like, before any fight in champion select, like even when the game is loading anything, for team fighting, you have to think, what's their main threat? Of course, in game, you know, because you know who is fed, right? That's basically how it's defined. This game, I can tell, again, I didn't do the math, but I can tell like more than half of the times you like to this. Yeah. And Caitlyn, you don't really go closer. You, it's a ranged champion. You have RPC. You play from Narnia. 
Um, and that's that's the thing that you are, I feel like, missing the most. That's why you say team fighting is hard. Uh, I think you can, you will find it really easy. Like you just have to take the right approach. So, what do I mean by this? Is uh, it's called um, let's say pro prophylactic thinking. It's called prophylactic. Do you know what that means? Mm, no. <laughs> okay, I wish I knew how to say it in German, but keine Ahnung. Um, it's it's when you think something to prevent it. That's the definition. So you think something before it happens. How does this apply to the game? Is for example, Mal I know Malfa is gonna flash army, so I have my finger close to the close to the flash and I'm ready. So when he does that, that I know he's gonna do, I flash backwards and I kill him. And I win the fight. Why? Because he's committing to getting me. Sometimes the fight it's commitment. Like in a fight, for example, 5v5. Malfi flash R, flash R to the ADC. The ADC flashes, it's probably a loss. Why? Because Malfi is exposed and they cannot follow up on the ADC. It's gonna be a loss for the enemy team. And I have won many games like that. Like someone flashes in for me, I flash backwards because I know it's gonna happen and I win. Why? Because I have prophylactic thinking. It's not like I'm, I have Korean reflexes. I wish I don't. But what's happening in my mind is that, oh, I know Malfa is going to flash army. So why? I'm ready, right? Yeah. I'm able to react quick because I already thought about that. So in this game, it's the same. You know how they play. That's why I told you go RPC because you need the range. Like, again, LA's Chin, GP has a ton of range. Like, to bake the barrels, it's going to be really good. Uh, so the, the way to approach fights is, first of all, paying a lot of attention to the map and your environment. So that includes enemy team, your team, that includes everyone. That includes everyone and everything. You have to know your team cooldown, their cooldowns. And I know it, it's it's a lot to have in mind. Uh, but you can start with something simple for fights. So start by thinking about what's going to kill you. I want you to do that next time you play. Think about what's going to kill you in a fight. Like, like likely. What's likely to kill you? Like The first three things that come to your mind, play around avoiding them all the time. You following me so far? Yeah. So the, that's that's gonna be your mindset next next time you fight. Top three things that are gonna kill you. Think how do I not get killed by this? This can include like any any amount of things. Like someone flashes for you. Like you know you know like ADCs complain. Oh, everyone's flashing for me, and I'm like, well, if you know it's gonna happen, why don't you prevent it, right? If I know four people are gonna flash for me, I stand two flashes away from distance. So that they cannot go for me, they go for my team, and I use my team as a bait. That's the easiest way to win. Use your teammates as bait, and you go last, and when they have nothing, you kill them. When at least use E, you go in. When GP doesn't have virus to threat you, you go in. When genius is CC'd or focused by someone else, and he's killing someone else, you go in. You use your teammates as resources. Fight. Do not get caught yourself. This game, you were doing perfect. You were 3-0, I recall. Like, around... Yeah, exactly. Here, you were 3 0. And then you died to Elise, I believe. No, to Jin. Okay, yeah, I recall this. Yeah, first you died to, Elise, to Jin and then to Elise. Okay, so. I, I won't analyze every death because uh, why would I do that? I just want to tell you, like, the, the main reasons why you died. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what you know. You know, it was due to mispositioning, to not watching the map, etc., etc. I won't tell you what you already know uh, because that would be useless. I will tell you what you don't know. Here, you are still pushing. This was perfect. This was okay. It's not, this is the combo that you need to achieve when you, there's nothing for you to do. It's slow pushes, slow pushing plus zoning, denying XP. Just, you should be standing around here, by the way. This is too backed off. But you wanted to get this minion, so you get this minion and you go forward. So that's cool. Let's see, what, let's see how you do this. Get the minion and go forward. See? Perfect. Even even further, you should be like here. Because you want to be... So, you know you know the parallel line rule? Yeah, that's in one uh, in one line to support. Exactly. Yeah. Here, if you stand here, you're gonna miss yes. So uh, not really, but the closer you stand to Seraphine, the better. So I stand here. There's no threat. That's a word. We don't know about Tribush, but we can assume no one's gonna gank you. Why? Because it's it's too far away. What do I mean? You will know if you get ganked because they will go forward. Why? Because if, if if you see a list like this, you go in collapse to her and you kill her. That's the concept about collapsing. Like. If you both collapse to a side when you're getting trapped, uh, if it's only one or like you can kill them, you'll win. Like that's something that you need to uh, know as well, like how and when you can collapse into someone. <coughs> but again, this was 
you weren't getting ganked, so it, it was perfect. Now the thing comes here. Now you're backing off. My question is why? Um, why? I think because we didn't want to get hit by the minions. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, I know you won't. You don't want to take aggro, but this is a no lean scenario. The minions matter nothing. Why? Because you are the heck fed of the out of the game, man. They are like one point something k above. Look at this. No, I, I where I'm short. You are like one no two k above. Okay, I was super. I, I thought it was like one point five, but no, you're two k. Yeah. Do you think yeah. you can possibly lose this having every sum summoner? <laughs> no, we not know. If you if you go in like double the farm, you double his farm. You double his farm. You do correct play. You just earned that. Like you didn't. It didn't come out of nowhere. You literally earned uh, the advantage. You got it by playing correctly, by playing well. Now, do you think? Yeah, do you think you should lose this? No. No. At all. Not at all. You should two hundred percent win this. And let's. You might say, "Oh, this will gank me." Nah. Uh, and, and no. I mean, yeah. We, you can say, "Oh, in game, I didn't know that." Yes, you did. You have a word here. You have a word river. No one's coming for you. There's a word mid, so if she wants to do like this, you'll probably see her. So there's, there's no threat. No one can TP behind, and that's from a season ago, like from two seasons ago. So this is a clear all in. It's even they're like aligned. Like, so they're like, you know, like this is a gift from God. <laughs> this, is a, this is like a gift. This is a Christmas. Merry Christmas, man. This is your uh, Frohe Weihnachten. <laughs> this is your gift, man. Like, literally. And this is super free, and you're so fed that this should be. To reset, like now, this is cool. Your, that dodge was insane. Now, e you e like in. Yeah, you should e in, especially so you don't get hit, or gale force. It doesn't matter. You gale force forward. Yeah, you need to be way more aggressive, uh, and that comes with practice. So I'm gonna go into my second thing. You can have you have to work on. The first one I already said. I explained everything, like the concept of thinking about uh, making nice mistakes, etc., etc. Now it's limit test. And I'm not saying limit is like, oh, go suicide 10 times in a row. Mm, that's, that's, that's griefing. No, that's not limit testing. I'm saying limit testing is see how much you can go for. Like here, I, I, I have played the game for a while. i um, worked on stuff. So I, I know here there's no possible lost loss. You know what I mean? Like I know yeah. here if you just smash your head against a keyboard, you kill someone <laughs> for free. I, I know that for a fact. Why? Because you're two k above, double the farm. You have a full item. He has this. Look at this. Like, look at this. Like, it's this is this is like a meme. Like, how are they ever gonna kill you? First of all, like they don't even have enough damage to kill you. Like, you need to uh, like how they can kill you is your internet like disconnects or something. But now you get comboed. Like, this was good. Like, this was good. <coughs> And this, you had Air Force all the time. So here, I wouldn't go for this. Because you don't have enough damage. Like, this is not a possible kill. You don't kill him. Um, so I wouldn't even follow up. But Seraphine is. I'll ping away. Like, control up, control up, control up. This is our idea. And heal. So she doesn't die. That's all. Now, this could be a kill. Like, I will be standing in the edge. And helping Seraphine to go away. This, if you had, like... Uh, uh, this would be a... I wouldn't even trap. This will be a Gale Force or Auto Attack. Gale Force E Auto Attack or something like that. Or like Auto Attack E, Auto Attack, Gale Force Suicide, something like that. Include like, like any fast combo will kill him. It doesn't matter which. Uh, with, because this, look at this damage. Deals a total of 210 increased against low targets. Okay. Up to 50%. Right. So the max damage for this is 318. Uh, of course, it's magic damage, so he has MR. This is reduced by a 26, and he's not that low. Let's say it deals raw damage 200. Let's put it, it doesn't matter. He's 300. Like, one auto attack E, Gale Force kills him. Or anything, or like E, Gale Force auto attack. Uh, I, I don't know, like anything. E, Gale Force auto attack will kill him as well. Like, right here, you could be here, E, Gale Force forward auto attack kill, and you shouldn't die. But you didn't use Gale Force, and with E auto attack, it does, it's not enough damage. Gale Force is a strong damage. Like, E deals nothing. Like, this 80 versus 200 plus a 50% max. 
So, it, it, like, it's it's gonna be like a 300. So the difference is real big. Like, it's it's more than three times. Uh, again, this is mechanical thing. You like I I'm, I'm, I don't want to make such an emphasis on the mechanical part because that's practice, you know. What's not practice is this knowing when you have to go in. You know what I mean? That's why I'm making such a, you know, such a big deal out of this because these are opportunities I have to recognize all the time. So next time you're fed, you know when you're zoning and you have no possibility of, of gank, you should know this is a free one at all times, and to play more aggro and more like free. I want to show what combo he could have done to last get Jin quickly under tower because I said it in game, but it's not as clear as if I show it. So he could have done a combo like E Gale Force Auto Attack or something like Auto Attack E Gale Force Auto Attack. So Auto Attack Gil Auto Attack E Gale Force Auto Attack will look like this. What he did there again? Auto Attack E Gale Force Auto Attack. You can cancel Caitlyn's E animation with Gale Force. See, and then Auto Attack again, or the straight up. E Gale Force auto attack that will also kill him. Well, I got one tower shot, but can do it without a tower shot, of course. Uh, he wouldn't die either with a tower shot, doesn't matter. But again, either of these two or anything similar, it will be perfect to last it quick. With Gailin, with this animation cancels and this quick combos, you have a ton of damage, burst damage. It's super quick and it's a ton of damage. So, thank you for watching the whole video. I hope you liked it and learned a lot. Uh, remember to like and subscribe uh, for future videos. Um, yeah, thank you. Until next time. Bye-bye.